and welcome to the program. Tonight we are on location in Fort Worth, Texas at the Christian Worship Center. The Christian Worship Center has welcomed in Rally LA, the movie. And so they're using this for an evangelistical tool to reach out to their community. And later on tonight, we're going to be speaking with the great pastor of this great church. And we'll be speaking with the filmmakers, Rick and Nettie Reyna. So stay tuned. Well, what a pleasure to meet and to interview Pastor Perfecto. Welcome, Pastor. Thank you very much, Teresa. I appreciate that. Well, we are so honored to be here tonight at your great church. Tell us the name of your church and a little bit about your church. The name of our church is Christian Worship Center Fort Worth. We established it in 2009, and we've had a couple of thousand souls saved. Praise God. People healed and delivered and filled with the Holy Spirit. It's wonderful. Amen. Well, that's awesome. Now, what is going to happen here tonight at your church? Tonight, we are showing the Rally LA. Uh, our good friends, Rick and Nettie, Reina, and Rallies for Christ have produced this wonderful uh, motion picture along with Brother Copeland and many others. And so tonight, we get to present this to our city. It is our, our soul winning event for the month of July. And also, our church members are excited about seeing this movie. Absolutely. That's awesome. Now, have you seen the movie yourself already? Yes, I did. Uh, when it opened up here in the state of Texas at the Harkins Theater, uh, we took a, a good number of our uh, congregation there, and we saw it there that night. But now we're bringing it here closer to uh, our neighborhood, and uh, we're able to minister to our city this way. Awesome. Well, now you obviously feel that this movie is an evangelistical tool that yes. your church can use to reach out to your community and win souls. Yes. Would you encourage other pastors who are viewing today? What, what could you say about that? How could you encourage them about bringing in, in the movie to their church? Really, is it all that complicated? It's really not. I mean, a projector and a screen and, you know, plug it into your sound system and you're ready to go. The reason why I appreciate Brother Rick and Nettie Reyna, Sister Nettie Reyna, and Rallies for Christ is because they have such a heart for soul winning. And it, that heart, that spirit, that anointing comes across in everything they do. And so I really feel it's important to, first of all, to have motion pictures like this. Brother Copeland and other ministries that are producing these, uh, these motion pictures, I believe it's so important because it, it's a way to show the public you know, the power of God, the love of God, miracles, healings, people being delivered and set free, and especially people being forgiven and given a second chance. And so I really love the movie for that purpose, and it is a wonderful soul-winning tool. Amen. 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 Could you briefly share a little bit of your personal testimony? Well, personally, I was raised in church. Uh, you know, I was raised uh, in a full gospel church as a child and a teenager. I had some time there where I did backslide and uh, wanted to seek the things in the world. Really, at that time, the, the church didn't have a lot to offer to the youth mm -hmm. as far as music goes, as far as uh, any kind of entertainment. Motion pictures, Christian motion pictures were just something that were very rare and um, also, you know, not that appealing to a younger generation. Uh, so uh, when I got saved and born again on fire for God, immediately I started serving the Lord and went to Bible college. But I think it's so important for us today, our church has a great thrust or emphasis towards children and youth ministry because it, I really feel it's so important for us to reach our young people Yes. Uh, before they want to experiment with the world show them that what God has to offer is so much better than anything yes. the world has to offer. And a movie like The Rally LA is just one thing that I believe is very positive and will help us to reach young people. Yes, absolutely. Well, now, do you, now that you've seen Rally LA uh, and from your background, do you think this movie would appeal to the church and the unchurched? Yes, yes, absolutely. Uh, that's one thing I noticed about it. Uh, I, I grew up in Los Angeles myself. My church is here in Fort Worth, Texas, but I did grow up in Los Angeles myself. So there's a lot of things that I see that, you know, are interesting to me uh, uh, because I grew up there. But one thing you will see is you'll see believers praying together, believing God together, uh, uh, talking together about 
reaching their city. I believe all churches need to be exposed to that. Yes. Uh, need to be exposed to the kind of heart that Brother Rick and Sister Nettie have to reach their city with the gospel. That This movie does that. It really speaks to Christians about reaching out into their community. And then, of course, it also speaks to the unsaved because it shows them the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes, amen. Right. Well, you know, Pastor... Um, of course, she's recently passed away, but Jan Crouch of TBN, right. I remember her saying years ago that the theaters were going to become churches and God's presence was going to come into the theaters. Amen. And you Amen. know, we're seeing that with every faith-based film that screens in our local theaters. You feel the presence of God. Yes. Salvations can even take place and do take place yes. in these theaters. Healings Amen. take place in these theaters. Amen. And I know that we're going up to another level in that, and I'm so very excited about it. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Uh, that's one thing that we noticed. We took a great group of people to the theater. And uh, we've done that also with other faith-based movies. And I really encourage Christians everywhere to support Christian motion pictures. Yes. The world calls them faith-based movies. Let's call them faith-based movies. But we know that they're simply a tool, a way for us to evangelize, to reach the lost, and to go out into the city right where the people are, right into the uh, movie theaters, and bring them the gospel. So I encourage all Christians to get behind and support these uh, movies. And how do you do that? Well, by going to the movies, attending them, and by purchasing them, and by giving them to people who you know need to hear the gospel. So I really believe we all need, all of us as Christians and pastors, we need to support these ministries that are producing Christian faith-based movies. Yes. Amen. 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 Well, what a delight to interview you tonight, amen. Pastor. And uh, they're setting up and people are already arriving for the movie. So yes. I know you need to scoot along and yes. welcome everyone. But thank you so much. Amen. Thank you so much. We love you. God bless you. And Jesus is Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, what a pleasure and a delight to have on the set, Nettie Reyna. Welcome, Nettie. Thank you. It's an honor to be here with you. Oh, it's so good to have you. We've been yes. celebrating together at the Believer's Voice Convention yes, this year and getting right. to participate in some of that. Wasn't that awesome? Oh, yeah. That was an amazing week. You know, it was faith-filled week, and now we heard everything. We're going to go do what we heard, the Word. Put the Word to work. Amazing, amazing yes. week. Absolutely. Now, here you are at a church in Fort Worth, yes. Christian Worship Center, yes. and you're bringing... You guys are bringing Rally LA to this church, but yes. also Rallies for Christ. I mean, you're involved yes. in so many things. Yes. You work in the ministry, <laughs> and you were very helpful in making the movie. So That's tell us right. more about your roles that you play in the ministry and in the movie. Well, in the ministry and the movie, it's, you know, Rick and I were a team, and he's the, in the movie, he's the director, and I assist him. I'm part of the producer and you know I'm there I know what's going on from A to Z so it's teamwork so I'm very much involved with the film and with the ministry so it's teamwork you know everything we do is together and we direct designate do everything to get the job done to get the kingdom of God work done so it's a it's a teamwork effort for both of us Absolutely. Now I want to ask you, you're a mother, you're a wife, yes. you're also a grandmother. Yes. I want to know, how do you find time to do oh. all of this? Well, that's <laughs> one thing the Lord has instructed us to do is to have balanced living. I'm a strong believer of balanced living. You know, it's God first in your life, and then it's your husband, and then it's your children, and then it's your job, and then it's ministry. You know, like your church, if you go to a church. Our job is our ministry, so it's number four, you know. <laughs> and then, you know, for, for us, that's what it is. But a balanced living is a big, big deal to me. So we balance it all. Yes. When we work, we work. When we're done, we're done. You know, we know when to turn the clock off, if I can say that. Yes. So we know it's family time, grandchildren time, vacation time. or when it's But when it's work, it's work. So we know how to balance it. The Lord has given us those instructions to keep a happy family is a balanced family. Nice, and you do have a beautiful family. Four Thank children, you. two yes. sons, two daughters, and they're yes. all beautiful. Thank and you. working in uh, ministries as well, aren't they? Oh yes, they are. They all have a part with our ministry, but also they have many gifts and talents that they're doing other things as well. Mm -hmm. From 
everything from our daughters are involved with ministry, but also fashion. And one of them's married, and her and her husband have a ministry. And then our both boys, they have their place with our ministry, but then they do many other things too. So we're there. We're a family affair, yeah. but we let them do all the gifts and talents God has put within them as well. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Well, what a delight to meet you, visit with you, and interview you. you. And I'm Thank looking you. forward to more great things coming from Rallies Amen. for Christ, Mitty. Yeah. Amen. God Thank bless you. you. Thank you. Well, we have on the set now filmmaker and founder of Rallies for Christ, Rick Reyna. Welcome, Rick. Oh, Jesus. It's so good to be here with you. It's an honor to be on your show again. Uh, I know you're doing a great work, and it's just a blessing to be here, uh, letting the world know that our, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is in the movie business. Amen, amen. Well, you know, it was a year ago that I got to go to the Southwest Believers Conference and do some interviews there for the premiere there right. of Rally LA. And uh, that's when we first met, first interview. Here we are a year later. Look a what God is doing. Amazing. And now <laughs> it's out on DVD. Oh, yes, yes, where everyone can get it. Yes. But it's still also like tonight we're at Christian Worship Center, and they're screening the film here tonight. Yes, yes. You know, it came out in theaters April 22nd, you know, a few months ago. Uh, it, it did well. It went to nine theaters. We're thankful for that. And now it's available on DVD. But, you know, it's a tool, Teresa. The Lord told me that the movies that we are making are tools in the church's hands. And they're designed to be a tool for churches to hold events like this, where they can play the movie and people can come for free and eat popcorn and drink pop, whatever. <laughs> but to hear a message on the big screen and to be encouraged to give their hearts to Jesus. Amen. And tonight they're going to see one of Hollywood's great stars, Eric Roberts, yes. and uh, Kenneth Copeland, and yourself, and Sharon Garrison, and it's going to be entertaining, it is. encouraging, and empowering, praise yes. God. That's the whole idea. You know, our desire is to make a movie where people can come and see themselves in the movie. We want them to see themselves, and then when we preach the gospel in the movie, we want to be able to hear that same gospel and respond to it. This is why, Teresa, we're making these movies. And we thank God for Eric Roberts. You know, he's been in over, close to over 300 movies now. And he's a, a working actor, like, like an amazing working actor, Julie Roberts' brother. So it was an honor for him to be in our movie. Like you mentioned, Kenneth Copeland, Sharon, uh, Sophia Della Luke. Oh, yes, I mean, yes. These are she did a great, great job. Amazing yeah. job. Great actors and actresses portraying a role that we believe that we can tell the truth through so people can see the truth and be helped. Yes, amen. Well, now, we didn't start at this point, did you? No. There was a beginning to all of this. Yes. And early on, you worked in Hollywood as Al Pacino's double. Tell yes. us more about your early years in Hollywood. You know, um, about 1995, I was just really impressed. You know, I grew up in, in doing dramas and church dramas and school dramas. But about 1995, I was just really impressed in my heart to go to Hollywood. And I said, God, I don't know nobody in Hollywood. And God said, Rick, don't worry about it. I know everybody. <laughs> so I started off as an extra. You know, and I, I encourage anybody watching this, you want to work in the film industry, work as an extra first because you learn the business. Mm -hmm. I did that for a few years and started getting commercials and... Uh, Al Pacino came to town, they were looking for a double. I went to an audition and I got that job and I got to work with, with him in two movies, the movie The Insiders and the movie Heat. And I became really good friends with him and you know, Michael Mann was the director, Dante Spaganti was the DP, so I got to learn with the best. But that was my training, Teresa. God was teaching me about filmmaking working on those movies. Plus, you know, I, I did it probably for 10 years. And then the day came where God asked me to walk away for a season and we went full-time in ministry. But God said the day would come that he would ask me to come back and make movies for him. Well, in, uh, let me see, 2009 was that time. We made our first movie, The Rally One. Mm -hmm. And now we made The Rally LA. 
And I'll let you in on a secret, Teresa. <laughs> we, st we're, we just started production on the Rally Vegas number three. Wow, wow. You know, that's quite remarkable to be started on the third movie in this short of time. Because yeah. there's a lot involved in making a movie. There is. We already started with the script, though, and the screenplay. Mm -hmm. We already started looking you know, at different actors that we want to play. Mm -hmm. This movie's going to be a little bit different. It's going to have a little bit of twist on it. I don't want to let too much out of the bag, but we, we, we want to give a little bit of twist so that people can have a, you know, a desire to go see it, not say, well, it's, is it going to be the same? It'll have the same feeling in the rally movies, but a little bit of twist so people can get excited about it. Right. Well, I can just imagine, I guess, that there would be something relevant to Vegas as well in oh, that yeah. movie and what they're going through and the challenges that they face, well, probably. When we start filming May 8, 2017 in Vegas, yes. I'll tell you what happened. I was in Las Vegas, and as I was walking through the strip, the downtown strip, God began to show me people's lives. Mm -hmm. And he said, a lot of people are stuck. A lot of people are stuck in life, in drama, and they need a way out. And God said, I want you to make the third movie on different stories like that. A lot of people want out. They want a way out, but they don't know how to get out. Right. It, 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 but Jesus has a way, a solution. Mm -hmm. So the Rally Vegas is going to be really good. It is going to be in Las Vegas, too. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. How exciting is that? Yeah. Well, now we need to speak a little bit about Rallies for Christ. Mm. Tell us a little bit about Rallies for Christ and what you do there. Well, Rallies for Christ is the ministry that we have. And what we do, we travel doing rounds. Just like you see in the movies with the stage and the big crowds, that's what we do full time. We travel the country doing this, other countries as well. Uh, and we travel, we, we go on the road and preach in churches, we go into schools, we go into prisons. We're an outreach ministry, Rallies for Christ. We believe in taking the good news to the people. Yes. Because a lot of times the people won't come to the church, but we can take them the good news that Jesus can save, Jesus can heal, Jesus can deliver from oppression, depression, alcoholism, and, and, and drugs. Yes. So that's what our ministry is about. You can go to rallyforchrist.org to find out more, but that's what we do. But now we make movies, <laughs> now we do TV shows, mm -hmm. now we have a radio show, now we do books, now we do... What else do we do? We do a lot of things, you know? Awesome. Well, and I appreciate you have sent over showings to the prisons, to yes. those who are incarcerated as yes. well. Yes. And I'm sure that's having a great impact there. Yes. What we did with the Rally One movie was we went on a tour, like, for instance, Texas, Georgia. Um, we went to uh, Florida. We went to different states. And we did like nine days straight in different prisons in that state, showing the Rally One movie. Man, the inmates would run to the altar. Praise God. Because they see themselves in the movie. They literally run when I give the altar call. And I believe we'll see that tonight here at this church. Praise People God. People will run to the altar call to receive Jesus. Amen. Well, how exciting. And I know you're tired, and this has been a great sacrifice because you've been several days over at the Southwest Believers Conference. Yeah. And I mean, they're not playing over there. Uh, <laughs> they're serious. It's playing. at the crack of dawn and midnight, yeah, practically. Yeah. So I know you are tired, but what a sacrifice you and your family have given for the gospel okay. and to reach out to people who need the yeah, Lord. And we want to say thank you, and we appreciate that. Thank you, Teresa. You know, Teresa, you're doing an awesome work, too, because you're giving people a platform to say what God is telling us to say. So we speak blessings over you and your great cameraman, your husband Don, <laughs> doing a great job over there. Yes, amen, amen. Well, what a delight to get this chance to interview you again. And, and I know there's going to be more great things coming out of Rallies for Christ. Amen. And uh, who knows where the Lord's going to put me all in that little well, circle. I was but... about to say this. We might see you in Vegas. <laughs> you just might. Yeah, we're going to have to talk to the cameraman, though. <laughs> But God bless you, Rick, Thank and, you, and um, the people are starting to come in tonight, yes. so I know they're going to want to visit with you. Yep. But thank you for stopping by and for this interview. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. There is something that I must do. I should have done 20 years ago. What some of the things you're dealing with? We are dealing with the devil himself. Santiago, Saraca. The winds are changing. We need to be watchful. I am Antonio Saraca. I am your grandfather. I 
feel like I'm losing it here. I don't care. You don't do that to me. You don't do that to anybody. I don't ever want to see you again. And April is not to be told what to do. No, go away. Let me go. I promise I'll keep everything clean. We're going to begin to go out to the streets and uh, find anyone that will listen to us. There's a change coming to this town. Well, if you try to mess the way I do business around here, I will not hesitate to silence you. You hear me? I will take you out. We want to do a rally right here in your city. That's exactly what we've needed here. He is coming so soon. Sooner than any of us. You know where I can find Rick Reyna? Yeah, I think I saw him backstage. If you want God to make a difference in your life, I want you to raise your hands towards heaven. Because I believe today is your day. It's too late for you. And there is no power on this earth like the power of the love of God. Your God can stop it. a great report. We're here in Lima, Peru, the University of Engineering. This university, Nettie, they're telling me that only a few get into this university. It's such a high university. People come from around the world to be a part of this university. And what's amazing is we're in the amphitheater using it to have the love over rallies. We're so excited. You can see behind me they're getting ready, the band setting up, all the sound, the projectors, the screen. Um, we want you guys to pray with us and stand in faith because lives are going to be changed yes. forever. And um, around 900 young people are being bused in to come. And these are unchurched young people. Mm -hmm. So we get to minister to them the Word of God. And bringing them Jesus and there's hope in their future and hope in their life. So we're excited about that. Yeah. Well, actually, they, they <laughs> Kenneth Copeland Ministry ran at 10 buses. Yes. And each bus hold 100 people. But they put about 150 people in these buses, bringing them, they're shuttling them in to the event. So Friday night, September 23, and Saturday, and we're showing the rally, one movie in Spanish. Folks, this is powerful. God is doing the work in Lima for you. Thank you, God. Bless you. Brighten your day by watching the Time with Teresa television show. Whether in the studio or on location, host Teresa Westbrook and guests will warm your heart and encourage your soul. Uh, I made a covenant with God. We didn't write the Bible, Teresa, just so you know. We, did, we didn't take that on. We understand the holy words of God. here because God has put us in this position to make His Word known among people. Don't give up on your city. Don't wimp out on your city. But use the authority that God has given you to declare the Word over your city and to see people set free. And God will do that because He's faithful. 
thank, thank you for you. taking time to oh, chat thank with you us so tonight. much. God bless. Mm. Thank you. God bless you. Success. Thank you so success. much. I received that. Thank you. And I've had the, the pleasure of working on over 100 movies uh, from Avatar to Godzilla, uh, Pitch Perfect, Tangled, Frozen, uh, many big films. Mm -hmm.